everybody, welcome to episode 3 of Morning Lumber Gaming Podcast. I am BMAC, and today we got my homie, Lot Lizard Gaming. What's going on? What up? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been a little while since we had you on Brews and Cues, and we're doing something a little different now, so... Modern Warfare 2 is out, so what have you been grinding on there? Um, Modern Warfare 2 uh, is the best game ever created. Do you, so do you like it a lot more than Modern Warfare 1? Nah, man, they just pay me. My agent told me I had to do that in the first <laughs> part of this interview. Uh, no, it's dog shit. It's absolutely terrible. Um, I think it has the potential to be really good, but there's a lot of bugs and glitches and... Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but like end game of Warzone, you'll be dropping plates and gas masks and they'll fucking fall into the map. Uh, I thought multiplayer was a lot of fun at first, but now I can't stand it. I mean, it's good for leveling guns, uh, but it's just, you know, it's tough because you could sit here all day, right? And talk shit about it, but you're still going to play it. It's like that fat girl. At the, at the at the school, you know, that you used to finger blast behind the cafeteria <laughs> that you didn't want anyone to find out about, right? Then all your friends find out, and they're like, you know what? I might finger blast her too. And then no one wants to admit that they enjoy it. <laughs> kind of like that. Hate when that happens. I fucking hate <laughs> when that happens. Like, yo, you're going to go fuck, you know, Sandra tonight? Be like, no. And then you're going to go fuck Sandra tonight. So good. And then everyone's fucking Sandra. It's pretty much, pretty much <laughs> the most relatable way to put it. <laughs> My uh. finger still stinks. <laughs> All right, so you've been you've been working towards a nuke in uh, oh, Warzone Two. Uh, how close have you gotten? What are some of your struggles with it? Um, how far have you gotten? Glad you asked. Uh, in its infancy, uh, watching you know all the famous streamers. Uh, you know, Spartacus went for a solo, finally got it. Um, I've been watching like Tin the Tap Man, Nick Merckx, Cl- Cloaksy, or Cl- whatever the fuck they call him. Uh, Swag, Dr. Disrespect tried it with Z-Laner. It seemed like in the beginning it was it was easier if you got that heavy gunner. I don't know if you remember that heavy gunner chopper they had in the game. Uh, yep, they, I do remember that. They took it out because people were getting that chopper and then literally just flying around till end circle and then just killing everyone and winning the game. So they took that out by the time I was on to it. Um, and then I started trying to watch people and study the way they play. And I think um, the first few times we were just, you know, playing the game and we get a couple wins together. So the most wins consecutively I have is three uh, with two different sets of teams on like literally days apart. Um, so it's not always the players. I guess it's the player style more or less. It's like, Really, you got to jump in, either get a contract. I love safe crackers. I think they're quick, easy. Usually, they don't go too far away. Each like so, if your homie comes down, hits the safe cracker, three like the other two or three or whoever's on your squad can like, you know, kind of drift around and then <laughs> land on the other ones. And then if you do it right, you can get a contract done. Boom, and you got enough money for at least a you know your first gun. And then you kind of, I think what we've been doing is like stronghold would hit a stronghold. And then if we really are feeling frisky, we'll hit a black site. And then you have the advanced UAVs, you have the mini gun, you have all the, you know, the loot, the fucking plates and everything. And you're kind of set up. And then you really from like circle four to like the second to last one, you just got to play so slow. Like it just, you're not going for kills. You're not pushing teams. You're kind of just playing really ratty. And I mean, if you're not playing that way, then kudos to you because i feel like you really just have to take your time and like the the, already the pace of the game is very slow but you have to slow it down even more yeah and i feel like i just haven't i feel like i have the right pieces but we just haven't like one one day the lobbies will be great and it feels like everything's going well and then like in the middle of the week on a tuesday it's like every fucking sweaty timmy's out you know with his fucking head glitching and trying to do the movement shit and dolphin diving and fucking you know, can't even peek a corner because they're all sniping. And it's just like, you got to, everything's got to be perfect. Like when we got the one three in a row, it was like three in the fucking morning. I'm like, well, we're not getting off now. It's just tough. But I think we're getting close. I think it's doable. I don't think it's as crazy or as hard as people think it is. I think solo is incredibly hard. Um, I think trios is the sweet spot. I would like, I mean, you'd want that extra, um, 
a chance in quads, but I think trios might be the way to go. Nice. All right, so you got three wins. Going to the fourth one, um, how far did you guys make it before you guys got killed? Oh, man. I mean, we were in top ten. So we, we land in the fourth game. We're fucking... It was funny, actually, that we, each one of us playing were taking articles of clothing off. So I was in my underwear because we were superstitious. We were trying to say the same things. We we're like, oh, my God, it's going to happen. Um, And we get in with the game. Everything's fine. The one dude dev errors, like maybe five minutes in. So then we're a trio in quads. Um, It's like 20. So like 20 teams left. We're rotating. I got killed. Because I did, I made a stupid. I pushed when I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I think because I was so excited. And then it was um, the other two players. They got to like top nine, top eight, and I was like, oh my! Like if he would have clutched it up, it would have been insanely hard. The water, the the gas was rotating towards the water. There's no obstacles, nothing like or no like things to hide behind. Like in plain sight, no precisions, no like smoke bombs, like nothing fucking free to be able to rotate. So it was like we were pinned, and it was just like. Motherfucker, like they just have to start over. It's like so fuck. It's just such a swift kick in the nuts. But I yeah, know. that was the closest we got. Um, and then maybe a day went by, and then we did it again on what was that New Year's Eve? So right at the end of this, I was trying to get it before the end of the year, but that didn't happen. I mean, the New Year's Eve, we're like half drunk. Somehow we carried these some people for like three games in a row, and then on the fourth one. I don't even remember. What, we just didn't have a good game. It's like you almost lose momentum. Like if it was, I mean, obviously if it was three wins in a row, I would have had a contract by now, but I don't know why they came up with five. I remember when the game came out, they said it was so hard that no one was ever going to be able to do it. And I feel like so many fucking people have done it. Yeah. I've um, even, have you even been in a game where it, the nuke went off? Once. I Actually, no, I haven't, but I've seen... The contracts on other people, like I've been watching people stream, and I've seen that that con like if that if someone has that contract, it'll show up on the map. I'm pretty sure for everyone, it does. So you'll know that someone in that lobby has it, and they can do it. Um, and then uh, apparently each element comes with like a side, like like a little almost like a surprise. Like the one takes your health down real slowly, but like continuously, so you have to keep plating and plating and plating. I think the other one like marks you on the map or something like. I know it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to take time, but I just want to fucking at least try it so I can like see what I'm going to have to deal with. You know, I mean, obviously if we had four chances, that'd be great because like, all right, say like, you know, we're all right. We did it. We were feeling it. Let's use that one chance because we all have, you know, a contract and we get fucking smoked and we learn, you know, from our mistakes. It's almost like you'd have to like take notes and like, all right, this is what happened on that first round, but then you'd have three other chances. So that's when like, the one girl on the second attempt just left and like was like okay bye and i'm like you can't leave on a three game winning streak like who leaves on a three game winning streak in anything you can't, do that. You can't leave after one win like after i know one win, it wasn't her fault she's a great gal but i was pissed um but anyway yeah so if we could at least get the contract and 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 just have the experience i think that'll be beneficial um Hopefully, before they make any changes, I don't think they're going to change anything on that. But you never know with this fucking game and these people. You know, next week could could be fucking all third por person fucking battle royale, and they'll just get rid of all like you know they'll just fucking cut it up and destroy it. Yeah, they have a good way of doing that at times. Yeah, they're very good at like, oh, you like that? Fuck it. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Take it right out. Yeah. Oh, that's um, your favorite gun? Here's the fucking pistol. So I ran into that the other night. Um. So I, I believe whenever we started, we saw that someone had the contract. And um, they honestly did not get killed until, I want to say, maybe second to last circle. Like they got, Oh, wow. So someone had it in your game? Someone had it, and they got really close. Were um, you in trios or quads? We were in quads. Um, Fuck. That's awesome. And we got close to them because pretty much at one point, you know, we were we were really on a tear and um, we weren't trying to really uh, get killed by a nuke. So we kind of got close to them, kind of waiting to see like where they were going to go after the circle was kind of closing again. And uh, as the circle, I guess was coming in, they finally got killed, but we were watching them the entire game and just seeing how long they were going. I was even surprised they made it that long, but 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure once you start the contract, you have like a constant UAV on you, correct? Like you were able to see where they were the entire time, right? It comes up as like almost like a little yellow crown uh, that was kind of on the... It wasn't a crown, but it was something kind of close. But you can kind of see just where they're at the entire time. So um, I'm sure that would probably make it extremely difficult. But even then, I mean, when you, if you even load into DMZ and you're holding like a weapons case, I feel like you could be in a lobby and some people just don't give a shit. Like, they, they just want to play their game and get out. But, I mean, yeah. I almost wonder if Warzone is kind of like the same way. Like, if you were... If everything's skill-based matchmaking, maybe if you just made a new account just for, like, a little five-game streak, I wonder if mm. that's how some people could be knocking it out, but beats me. True. I don't think... So here's my issue, and what really scares me is they're going to... I think those smoke um, grenades are way overpowered, and I think they're going to nerf... Or no, is it nerf or buff? Which one's the one? They're gonna nerf nerf is bad, right? They're yes. going to nerf it into the fucking ground, and then it's going to be worthless. And that's like literally how, I don't know if you've done it, but I carry, I, I carry four, five, six of those fucking things. And if we're like out in the open, I'm just fucking Dikembe Mutombo, like whoop! <laughs> like if, if you were down, I throw one at you so they can't see you. But I mean, you could run a thermal site, which I have done, and I, it's beneficial, but you have to be like out of the, like if you're in the smoke with the thermal, fucking, you can't see shit. But if you're out of ways, you can see people running around. Yeah. But the key has been rotate, 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 get into a building, chill for like 10 to 15 minutes, watch the circle, and then kind of figure out a game plan and then hunker down. But if you have four or five smoke grenades, I make everyone carry them. I'm like, listen, if someone gets down, throw smoke at them. If we're rotating the open, throw smoke. Like anything to throw their shots off and like make them not be able to shoot at us. Um. And uh, self revives. You can carry like six fucking self revives. It's wild. I down. I downed a guy, and I swear to God, he self four times. And I just sat there and waited. I'm like, I'm just gonna see how many he has. He had fucking four of them. It's not how many people can carry. I mean, and that's probably gonna change. Too. Like those are little things I think they should change. I like the fact that they added them in there. I think there's just certain things they need to limit. But oh yeah, um, for sure. Self revives being one of them. That's that's a little extreme, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, um, I don't like how you can only get one UAV per buy. Uh, if that's um, how the way I'm thinking it works is like our, our whole team rolls up by UAV, it's gone the rest of the game. Like what the fuck? Yeah. It's... It should be like one per team. So I come up, it's a new team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the gun things, I like how they lowered the price. I still think loadouts should be cheaper. They need to be that's, cheaper. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, money is not as easy to find. No, and there's like no money. I was like, what the fuck? I think they're really, really, really trying to cater to people that have no idea how to play this game, and it's kind of annoying. Because I always held this game in like a it's a skill, it's it's a skilled game. Like you have to know what you're doing and have some kind of knowledge or history. Because they always usually kind of follow suit. And then they just made it for fucking anyone to be able to like have a chance, which I I understand say if i was a person created in the game but at the same time you've had the same loyal fucking people playing this game for years even though you come out with shit like caldera was horrible let's be realistic there was really nothing great about it except for the funny events they did like who the fuck was in that room and was like you know what would be fucking sick king if we kong had, <laughs> if we had fucking king kong and godzilla Right? Okay. <laughs> Stay with me. Oh my CGI beer. um yeah in the middle <laughs> of the map and then they never really fight like this close, but they're like far away and they like throw shit at each other. And someone was like, fuck yeah, man, dude, great idea. Krampus was sick though. I'm not going to hate on Krampus. I love that event. The Halloween one that they did, the Haunting of Verdansk, and then the Krampus thing was lit. But fucking Godzilla and oh my God. You couldn't even hear your fucking self think. That thing was moaning up there the whole time. Haunting of Verdansk, that was uh, during Cold War. That's after they rolled it back, right? Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. That's another thing. They got to bring that map back in some way, shape, or form. Could you imagine if they brought out, like, what's an, what was an island on there? Maybe, like, say the jail, like, the uh, the prison. That'd be a sick rebirth map. It would be cool. You'd, have, oh. you'd obviously have to expand a little bit. It wasn't big enough, but um, I'm trying to think if there was no real islands on that map at all. No, not really. Um, I heard they were planning on bringing back Castle as the Rebirth map, if I'm not mistaken. Which, which one is that from? 
Uh, I forget which Call of Duty that's from, but um, I think that has some potential to be pretty decent. I mean, I think they could bring it, like, build around that, and I think it would be pretty pretty good. But I, then again, it'd be a lot like the Rebirth for Modern Warfare 1. Yeah. Where you just have a big prison in the middle, and, ever, and there's just stuff around it. But Yeah. But then again, I, I liked Rebirth Island. I thought it was great. Did you like um, Fortune's Keep? What were your thoughts on Fortune's Keep? Um, I mean, I think I was pretty rough on it, just because it's like that that map. There's certain areas that were just so ratty. Um, I just didn't know if I really cared for it. But then again, I I loved Rebirth after they took away Verdansk, so um, that's all I really wanted to play was Rebirth. I never really wanted to play Fortune's Keep. Just like I felt like Rebirth was, it took a lot more skill to be able to play that one, but just personal preference. Yeah, I never was a Rebirth guy. I I actually until Caldera came out was when I first started to actually actually play it. Was wait was Rebirth part of that first one too? Maybe yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, I, yeah, I never got into it on the. I was always playing Warzone because I thought Verdansk was such a good map that I never it never really had my attention and where I I didn't have exactly. any like that didn't even think twice to go like I thought. In my mind, I thought it was it took more skill and strategic play to to, to last in um, in Verdansk, which because I never was a big resur- resurgence person, um, but now I've played it and it is exciting. It is fun. I didn't really like Fortune. Ski- like I just I felt I don't know the movement shit was ridiculous. Like I look like a pirate. There's a fucking there's ships everywhere. We're fucking sliding, jumping, sliding like fucking. I don't know. It was crazy. Yeah, were you? You weren't a big like movement guy, were you? You weren't like slide, no. sliding, and canceling all that other nonsense. Honestly, excuse me. Honestly, the first so Verdansk was my first experience with like the BR, and that was Call of Duty's first battle royale, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, Verdansk. No, Blackout yeah. was. Okay, was that a good map? I never even played it. I have no. I didn't. I enjoyed it. I loved Blackout. I mean, that was the first battle royale I ever. I ever what played. year was that? It was Blackout or Black Ops Four, so whatever year that was. Oh shit! Uh, so Verdansk was really my first like I'm all in gaming experience, and I was fucking terrible at. I think I was like a point five two, and uh, just like getting used to the game, and then Caldera got a little better, and then the movement shit was fucking insane. Um. And then rebirth, like so, I came up from like a point five to a point eight, and then I'm, I'm estimating on this map I'm above a one something. So the skill level for me has really come up. So I've been enjoying it because I've been, I put in so much time that I feel like I'm at a point where I can like hang with people at least now. Um, but yeah, so I like this map. I like this game. I think it has a lot of potential. If I had to rank them, it would go Verdansk, Almazra, then Caldera. If I could even put it further, I would. Um, I hope that for all the rebirth people that the math that they come out with is worth it because you know a lot of people are saying that a lot of people are leaving and they're frustrated but like this is what to expect when you these, these people come out with these games the stats the them not having the stats was kind of insult like it just doesn't make sense to me um and the fact that they like don't really answer the questions like you can tell they're kind of starting to cater to people but they're not really like Oh, maybe we should change this because the people really want like it's it just blows my mind. Yeah, but. they seem to they seem to address what's going to keep people playing rather than what's like a um what's the phrase I'm looking for? A uh just making the game overall more enjoyable for people. Yeah. It's, that kind of sucks. Um But um, I do agree with you. I hope the rebirth map for MW2 is going to be good um, because they do need to do something. I, I wouldn't say they're necessarily bleeding players, but I think a lot of like big time people uh, might look elsewhere for other games. Um, but in the same aspect, I think I was talking to Gunnar about this a couple weeks ago too. Like you know, a lot of the people that watch a lot of these big streamers, like you know, a lot of them are really big into um, Call of Duty. So I think people would tend to lose a little bit of viewers um, whenever they stream, just not being, not, just not playing Call of Duty. I mean, have you noticed that while you're streaming? Like, if you're streaming other things, do you have the same viewer base? 
before I, I noticed for sure, like I would jump to Fortnite or Apex, and a lot of the people that I that watch me or that I interact with in my stream are Warzone players. But like when the game got really stale, I feel like a lot of people understood. Um, I'd like to think people will come to watch me to watch me and not necessarily come here to know that I'm gonna be getting win after win after win or. Like I like to think that I hold some type of entertainment value that I could just make things interesting without it being interesting necessarily, if that makes sense. Um, I have noticed dips, and you will see people that are like, "This game's stupid," you know, or like, "If they don't like it, they don't like it," you know. Um, but not really. I'm at the point now where it's more of uh, keeping the people engaged and like trying to interact with them as much as possible to like get to a certain point of like having this many people view you consistently is tough and and you know trying to think of new ideas and things that haven't been done and you know ways to get people excited and wanting them to come back you know giveaways are always something that are obviously motivating for people but like on new year's the wheel of torture or punishment or whatever the fuck i called it or the wheel of misfortune, misfortune. <laughs> fucking that got out of hand so fast. within the first five minutes i was fucking half naked in a wig with makeup and pigtails on and like each person that came in the stream i had to explain why that why that was happening um you know the fact that half of my viewers are into torture and watching me suffer you know when i did that packy chip i think i had 50 viewers at one point just to eat the hottest chip you know because people love to watch me so i don't know what it is i don't know maybe right. the way i handle it Let's uh let's roll it back a little bit. Like around the first week, the Cowboys played the Eagles. <laughs> um, uh, no. You and Gooner both drank some piss. Uh huh. Um, yep. Gooner's Gooner's was definitely a. Uh, he he drank like a full bladder full. That was disgusting. Yeah, um, he drank he drank a lot of piss. Um, do you guys have any more bets planned? Um, no. So how that originated was we were in Warzone, or no, we were playing Fortnite, and I like to think there's a close skill skill gap between us. I don't think it's crazy. I think he might be a little uh, more seasoned, if if that's the best word. I'm not going to say you know, better than me, but um, I think he's got a little more time in. Um, but. We were playing Fortnite, and I was like, let's do a kill race. And he's like, what are we going to do a kill race for? And then it spirals out of control where we start betting. And I was basically like, for some reason, the first word out of my mouth was, I'll drink my own piss. Like, didn't even like hesitate. <laughs> he was like, well, what are we going to do for? I was like, I'll drink my own piss. I'll do it, dude. I'll drink it. Like, I, like, like he wouldn't want me to for some reason. And he's like, okay, fine. And then literally, I got like a kill, two kills. And he didn't get that much more. But all right, I have to drink my own piss, I guess. And I literally just turned around. Made sure he saw me t tinkle into it, and I just drank my piss, and it was rough. And then we made another bet about the Cowboys game and the Eagles game, and the Eagles smoked him that week, and he had to drink his piss on stream. He also did the chip, too, and he handled the chip really well. He must be good with spicy stuff, but I literally almost died. Um, But yeah, so I don't, I don't think we're doing any other bets soon, because every time I bring it up, he starts to, like, not, you know... Because it starts to go in a crazy direction again. The recent thing was they wanted me to eat a worm. Which I'm not fucking eating worms. Um, I almost did on New Year's Eve, but we didn't have any. Usually we give them to our bearded dragon, but I ran out. So I'm like, I'm not fucking eating worms, you fucking sick fucks. <laughs> no one with that thing crawling around in my ass, you know? Yep. These things are resilient, too. They'll probably make it the whole way out, and you're... That, yeah, but, and like, that, that's what I mean. Like It always goes back to, like, you just fucking want to watch me suffer these people these sick fucking bastards <laughs> but i guess you know wouldn't, i wouldn't change it i don't guess i, I know i wouldn't change it it's very interesting very, very interesting fuckers um so let's talk about this kill race you guys got going on um tell tell everyone a little bit about what you guys have planned and when this is happening so we're trying to do a 2v2 kill race league um it's called 2v2 kill race um uh, el Mazra, i guess lee i don't know basically our idea is to get a set amount of, or a set amount of players and to pair them with streamers so you know say if um you didn't stream you get paired with a streamer so we would 
take all the streamers, take all the just regular players, and then we put all the streamers on a wheel, or the players on a wheel, and then whoever gets paired with who is the team. Um, it's like a five ten dollar buy in. So it's basically this whole month we're just trying to work. We're trying to work on the idea of trying to launch it in February. It would go off on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I mean, ideally. Um, like, so say if we were in a quad, so it was me and you and another team, and we had to pick a different day or a different time, as long as we let the other people know, that'd be cool. Um, the reason we want to pair with streamers is, A, it helps their viewership. I, th and I mean, it will, because people will be excited about it. And B, if, like, say you said something happened and it didn't, we had to go back and we had to check it, then we have the evidence, right? Um, and then basically my thought was to do it like bracket style. So, you know, a winners and a losers bracket, um, and then draw it out. So like, it might take a month, it might take a few weeks, but each week, you know, two sets of teams go off. So if cycle through the full, I don't know if they're going to have either side of the bracket or one side of the bracket, but cycle through that full first run, right. And then our winners will move on and they go. And then that next week loser and like, just keep, you know, nailing down the, um, the bracket and also another cool thing is like if you're paired up with a random person you never played with before you know you might develop a relationship you might see someone stream you really like and you think it's interesting um so it's really beneficial for everyone and uh the money you know it's not going to be a whole lot probably but it'll be nice to just you know have the bragging rights and say you were the first person to win um i thought it'd be cool to, to have it drawn out a little bit more so you'd have something to look forward to every week and then obviously like the rules would be like a three kill minimum for the whole squad, the whole quad. So say if I got two kills and, and, um, you guys got none, we can't just back out and that's it. Like you have to get at least combined three kills, um, you know, for your team or whatever. And like, if, if say if we already won and it's like, we have 10 or 20 kills and you have none as a team, you can't back out. You got to finish the game. If you get through and you still lose and your quad wins the game, you should, you're going to get points. So it'll be like a point system. Um, it's just so it's it's more competitive. And also we wanted to do a thing where it's like matchmaking kind of. So like if we paired you with someone who's like a demon and you're kind of pretty good yourself and we know that you are um, to try to like level it out if we have to. But for this first run, it's all kind of just going through making sure we can do it getting it down and then being able to like run it maybe other uh, every other month depending on how well it goes you know if, if a quad goes off and you guys see a hacker or someone dev errored and the whole quad agrees that they should restart things like that like all the little things that people have questions about um ideally it would go off that first thursday in february but uh right now we're just trying to get interest uh seeing how many people want to compete and uh we're gonna go from there i think it's looking around 20 right now 20 um 20 players so it's pretty good so you know far. we're trying to keep yeah we're trying to keep it manageable like i don't want to do a fucking shit ton yeah and also we're gonna have to have people that monitor the games and uh like i said it'll be cool because like i'm gonna get to we're gonna get to watch other streamers we've never heard of too and uh it'd be interesting to see you know how they play the game and i think it'll just be fun for everyone involved and yeah it's like you're not gonna win a lot of money but it'll still be cool and again, we'll get all everything down and try to iron out all the kinks. Absolutely. That's why I wanted to take like a month to get it ready. So if, say if something fucking, oh, we didn't think of this or, oh, you know, they came out with a map change and it's terrible or so we're able to like adjust. Cool. Yeah. Um, Who else you got in there besides you, Gooner? I'm sure Dishes is in there. Uh... SARS. Um, there's a few other streamers I've never talked to before that are in. Um. You know, John's doing, I think Mike said he would, James, you're in, right? Wexler said he'd play. Um, pretty good amount of people. Some people, you know, are from other communities, too, that they watch, like, all right, so they, a couple of them watch Dishes, and they're like, yeah, we'll play. So it's all, like, spaced out, which is exciting. Cool. Good stuff. Um, <clears throat> have you done, um, have you done the raid yet? No, I haven't. Cool. I'm just trying to find someone that's been in Area 21 besides Gunnar. Gunnar didn't make it very far. I was kind of trying to find someone that might have made it through. but hmm. Is that in the raid? No, it's in... Uh, it's another DMZ branch off. Uh, okay. But Alright, cool. Um, that's about all I got for today. Um, 
Cool. Awesome. Thanks for taking the time and hanging out with me today. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Fuck guys. Walmart. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>